kick niggas like a dean. I suck niggas, I'm a fiend. I swear to God, yo, ho was sucking dick, yeah, now she on the team. All these little niggas on my D. Get the fuck off. Damn. Yeah, that's all I got. The worst fan bases on the internet. Hold on. Oh, I added I, oh this my, video. do not get me started on fan base. Yo, bro, you know what I see about YouTube? Look, I'm going to tell y'all like this. It's weird, but yo, I seen an influx of live channels streaming. Obviously, there was an influx of streamers. Uh, like at the start, like this post COVID, it was that, then it was the mic'd up channels that started with Jadeon. Then the documentary vids started with Patrick CC. And now we got these guys doing these like commentary vids. It's actually crazy. Sock Mike? No, no, I feel it. I got a sock in my door to close the bitch. It's crazy though. But I know it, that's it's just a trend. Like, I know that's just how YouTube work, bro. It makes sense. I really rather not see these niggas' faces though. No offense to y'all, bro. I'd rather not see y'all faces. Like, I like how academics used to just show clips. No offense to y'all, bro. No offense to y'all, you know? Not that y'all ugly or nothing. But you feel me? But this cool, though. This cool. Let's keep watching. With influence on the internet is gonna eventually have a fan base of some sort. Some of these fan bases that spawn in online end up being some of the worst I've ever damn seen in my life. And well, that's why we are here today. We're gonna be talking about some of the worst damn fan bases on the internet. Well, yeah, who's in here? Car so, Cardi, yeah, they gonna be in here. Ice Spice gonna be in here. You gotta put Taylor Swift in here because her. Taylor Swift gotta be in there. BTS gotta be in here. Nicki Minaj fans. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Fan bases have just spawned in over like the last six months and have just made life on the internet a living hell, bro. Like, listen, ain't no Discord mod. But when I do pop in and maybe post a video or check my social medias, I'm gonna see some form of these damn fan bases pop up. You cannot go anywhere without seeing these motherfuckers, even in real life. You can't escape them at all. You're gonna see them some way, somehow. And that's these damn opium Cardi fans, bro. Shit, we the best. I'm a Cardi oh, fan myself, man. man. Somehow, I'm saying, and that's wait. these damn opium Cardi fans, bro. Now, listen, I'm a Cardi fan myself, man. I'm OG Cash Cardi leaks every Cardi leak, man. D best believe I'd be listening to that. I am a Cardi fan, but you cannot catch me going to buy thousand dollar Rick Owens just to look like this dude who's never gonna f talk to me. Like, bro, don't get me wrong, some of that be drip like these opium fans. Y'all be putting it on. I can't lie, y'all be putting that. On. But to spend your entire paycheck on some drip just to look like a group of individuals is absolutely insane. Like, don't get me wrong, man. Like, I, I do understand loving some art because, like, we all do love the art that these motherfuckers and opium be producing. I mean, we got Ken, we got Long, we got. I think they're the worst. At least in pop culture, they're the worst fan base. I can't really say BTS because I would never keep up with those. And if that like side of the work ever came on my Twitter, I'd delete Twitter. So I don't know, but in terms of what I do know, Opium got it, though. Party, we got Homicide Game. Better watch out, Bino might tell. But nah, seriously, though, like, I get it, all right? The art they create, we, we all f*** with it. But, like, there's no excuse for you to be saying you want to suck off another man so he can drop some music. Like, when you talk, there's no excuse for you to be saying you want to suck off another this is this just a joke though. This just how I don't think I don't think this one that serious. Another man, so he can drop some music. Like when Utopia dropped and everybody heard a syllable and was like Cardi, Cardi, everybody start posting tweets. I'm about to suck off Cardi. This is the new age of Cardi. <laughs> Not me. Oh my god, I can't wait to gargle his nutsack. Like, bro, I get it, alright? That shit's like absolutely heat. I've been listening to Fiend since Utopia dropped. But he's not. Yeah, I don't really even like feel like that. Just because you said you're about to. I don't even think I would put Fiend top five Utopia personally. If it wasn't, it'd be fifth. Fifth Suck his wiener, bro. The amount of meat riding that comes with opium fans is just out of this damn world. You thinking they riding a bike the way they ride in Cardi's meat? And I'm not trying to box in all opium fans here because there's a lot of fans that, you know, enjoy the opium. Bro, that's a beautiful project. There's, bro, there's beautiful songs on that project, bro. That song is just like a poppy hit. I don't know why I said poppy, but you know what I'm saying? It's like some pop, like radio shit, like... Like, it's a good song, but... Absolutely weird. But there's damn sure a lot of them who just act totally out of the ordinary bro like straight weird and those opium fans right there really just make the entire collective of fans look terrible like for example i went to summer smash this year and uh well when cardi's day was there to perform what sock is this i'm sorry my i'm not trying to uh, hate the hustle what type of sock is this my like where do you buy a sock like this from bro but i'm gonna let you keep doing your due diligence 
My bad, though. Like, my for bad, example, my bad. I went to Summer Smash this year, and, uh, well, when Cardi's day was there to perform, everybody and their mother was dressed up in clown makeup, all black on, knockoff Rick Owens, bro. We know that shit from Panda should be, a, should be a shame of themselves. But that shit right there is just a prime example, like, of Cardi's influence, and it's cool in a way, but at the same time, it's like, bro, the whole idea of opium and the artist are to, like, do your own thing, and, like, the amount of meat riders and people trying to do everything they do is hilarious. But I rest my case, opium fans get a S in the meat riding tier. Not all of y'all, but some of y'all be uh riding meat like there's no tomorrow, and I'm not gonna lie about that. Shit. Now we moving on to a uh, uh Yeah or no. They one of the worst fan bases. Run a poll, run a poll. What y'all think? Fan base if you shit. I'm part of I'm definitely part of the ice spicers. I don't know what she call her shit. The ice spices, the spices, I'm part of it, bro. Cause that that butterf that butterfly cool, whatever that shit called. I, I listened to that shit a good 30 times today. I'm not even trolling. I'm part of this shit. You want to even call it that? Because to me, it's just down bad dudes online. And some of them are my brethren, all right? My brothers, my uh, black African-American brothers. Who I be seeing looking hella down bad on a timeline. And those are Ice Spice fans. Now, I say fans in quotes because nobody is necessarily really a Ice Spice fan. They just want to watch her content or her music videos because she's shaking ass. And that's half of every female rapper in 2023. It's nine times out of ten if they have male fans, it's because they have some kind of prerogative about them. And I mean, it's sad, but like, what can you do about it? It's just like the reality of 2023. Everybody down bad, bro. Now, these Ice Spice fans have just been some else, bro. They've been on a roll of absolute weirdness. I had saw some clip about Ice Spice going to some show. I think it was in Germany. And some dude walked up to her and literally said, can I sniff your ass? You can't be mad at that, though. See, here's the thing. Damn, her shit look wild here. Y'all call me pale? What? Bro, what is this? Bro, she got uh, Caillou complexion. My shit never dislike. But look, we still make beautiful babies. But here, that's besides the point. My bad. No, I'm out of pocket. My bad. But look, that's every popular woman artist. Niggas gonna say this to Ruby Rose. Niggas gonna say this to Nikki, Beyonce. You feel me? Like all them, bro. I don't like, you feel me? I sniff them all. Oh, no, I'm not sniffing no butt. I'm not sniffing no butt. That's actual harassment how is it harassment he said i spice i want to sniff your butt that's just weird how's that harassment how's that sexual harassment dumbass man this shit is not okay but who said it was okay what are y'all talking about bro the argument i'm saying is not that it's good i'm saying that it's he's using that as a point to say why her fan base is the worst i'm saying nigga they do that to every woman bro so how can you say that makes her the worst are you retarded how am i stupid are y'all dumb bro does that not make sense to you are you stupid bro oh my god bro bro my point is say they want to sniff butt lick titty lick lick what color is it to every popular woman artist beyonce ice spice Ruby Rose, whoever it is Besides Gorilla, this is not saying that Gorilla respectful. No, respectful. This video is about the worst fan base on the internet. He's using that as a point. The sniffing thing to say why her fan base is weird. Dumb. So I'm saying that point don't exist because it happens to multiple women. It's said I gotta hit y'all with a lecture to make y'all understand simple concepts, but we don't keep going. Bro, they've been on a roll of absolute weirdness. I had saw some clip about Ice Spice. I never said it wasn't sexual rat. I swear to God, Kev, you never seen a mod ever again. I never said it wasn't sexual harassment. You ugly piece of shit. Man, I swear to God, man. I just explained all that shit and you ain't understand it at all. My let me under uh, uh, mod that right now bro saying you want to sniff a butt is not sexual harassment because you ain't do an act it's some weirdo shit my nigga. if i say i want to i'm gonna shoot it is that murder ugly piece of shit you tell me that if i say i want to shoot it is that murder i can't do this right now i gotta take his mind bro he's spamming too it's going to some show i think it was in germany and some dude walked up to her and literally said can i it's a threat it's a threat the action i'm about to end stream off this i swear to y'all i can like your emote only i'm going i'm not i can't i can't i can't i can't because y'all can't beat me guess what because i will never lose i will never give up on the point i'm too stubborn up here sorry it's a bad trade i admit it yo go emo it's a waste of time bro you're wrong i'm right sorry Nigga putting 4.2 emote i'm gonna strip your sub too you ban next if your ass on my face please see that's is that harassment no that's just weirdo shit. he's saying weird shit. she should get a restraining order against this nigga, bro but he didn't actually touch her or anything in any way that's not sexual harassment please, please. Oh my do you know how absolutely down bad and weird you have to be to think that's acceptable in any damn way shape or form i don't care if that shit joke or not like certain things are funny certain things are mean that is just straight up weird bro you thought she yo take it out emote homie <laughs> <laughs> oh no it is wild as shit though
Yo, um, yo, someone give Kev is my back. Kev, I love you, gang. You've been here for a minute. We've been uh, bang bros, though. No bullshit, though, bro. Yo, y'all my n****. Damn, we've been locked in, though. This is crazy. It's a good day, though. I feel like every day a good day, man. I love y'all niggas. But, yeah, though, let's keep going, bro. Yo, Kev. Yo, you my n****, though, gang. Let's keep going. Thank you for that mob, bro. She was about to straight up just drop her jean I'm shorts friend. and start shaking ass in your face because you said, let me sniff. Hell no, bro. Please get a grip of reality. Like, if you walk up to any other woman and do that, you're probably going to jail. I'm surprised Ice Spice didn't body slam this motherfucker. The ass sniffers aside, the absolute amount of people on Twitter that cried Ice Spice too is hilarious. The amount of tweets I see, Ice Spice over Jesus Christ, Ice Spice over Tupac is absolutely ridiculous. Nobody in the damn real world is actually bumping Ice Spice besides, I don't know, teenage girls in class who just want to get their confidence up. Don't get me wrong, Ice Spice definitely got some hits, alright? She got some hits. 46 she million! Yo, she has 46 million monthly visitors. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Bro, y'all know how much that is. Confidence up. Don't get me wrong, Ice Spice definitely got some some hits all right she got some hits i mean she got what what's that shit? deli that shit was hitting deli hard in her mood that shit hit too in a mood don't forget butterfly cool bro. but you will never catch me in my day-to-day -day life blasting ice it's cap that's cap that's cap that's cap i'm sorry bro i really play some of her shit and not even to see the buttocks i'm not even playing the music vids she don't got a music vid to this if she did i promise you look look, look. y'all see this why y'all think it's on the recommended every time this shit popped on youtube today i clicked it Like damn, move back. She a baddie cause she got the jack. Walk through and they start going cool. Like you the baddest who better than Now look, did her shit get carried by the beat? Probably, bro. But this beat is beautiful. Her producer OD. Niggas can say whatever they want. I'll turn this on in the car. No cap. I really would. This shit is really tough. This beat is amazing. Do y'all hear this beat? Let me just listen to the beat alone. That's the beat. Damn, it's the beat. It's the beat. Nah, I still I still play the song. I don't care. I like it. It don't matter if I like it for her to beat. It don't matter. I like the song. Spice in my headphones, motherfucker. It's just not happening. But hey, Ice Spice, she getting her bag. I mean, she got a lot of simps out there for her. She Remix got a it? lot of people willing to sniff. Not tonight, I'm tired, though. Show. Oh, Ice Spice, don't think we forgot you had that 16-year-old in your new music video shaking ass either. We did not forget that. Man, cancel Ice Spice right now, man. Fuck that. Now, moving on to the next fan base, all right? This fan base has just been cringe for as long as I can remember. And that's My Hero Academia fans. And let I was not expecting this, bro. I feel like One Piece fans the worst anime fans because I hear about y'all too much. It's like I'm hearing about an anime that I never watched before. I don't really like that. You feel me? When does the new Attack on Titan come out, by the way? I always say One Piece fans, you niggas got it and y'all can suck it. And, you know, your show might be amazing, bro, but y'all niggas too loud, bro. Be quiet. Like, you feel me? Just be quiet. Enjoy your shit in peace. Okay, you watched a thousand episodes. Good job. You have a certified loser badge for the rest of your life. Will I do that one day? Maybe. You feel me? If I'm homeless and, you know, I don't got a job no more, I just got time to kill. But, yeah, bro, y'all show could be great, bro, but Attack on Titan's better until I end up watching your show. Maybe it, maybe it's good, bro. Maybe it's good. But y'all just talk too much. You feel me? Let's just broaden it a little bit more, anime fans in general. Now, ain't nothing wrong with anime, bro. I mean, we all have watched anime. I've watched anime. I love Spirited Away. It's my favorite animated movie. And there are some other animes that are good that I honestly have enjoyed in my life. I'm God not the biggest bitch. anime fan, but you know, there are definitely some fire-ass anime. But the thing that makes anime cringe and the reason it has better. the representation that it does nowadays is the fans. Because the fans are just absolutely just fucking off the rails weird, bro. Like, it's either they got the player build of a Discord moderator, they either sexualize the anime in some way, shape, or form, or just playing out weird in general, bro. There's no in between. I'm letting, I'm letting y'all know right now. This Vada, Vada, a horny. Nigga. He, I know Vada, a hentai watcher. Vada, you don't even gotta say nothing. If y'all don't know who Vada is, that's the nigga who edit, like, do my YouTube channel. Vada, a hentai. Nigga. I done caught his uh, Twitter likes one time. Vada, I know how you get down, uh, uh, uh big bro. I'm gonna call you big bro because I need you to edit these vids. Very good this week. We got a big week out of us. But yeah, you a freak. Yeah, he crying. That's why he not saying nothing, bro. You see? Yeah, he laughing. He know what it is. He, yo, body, you horny as hell. 
Between. Like the amount yeah, of plate I cleaner mean. Discord moderators that I've seen trying <laughs> to cosplay is yeah, Deku is it, absolutely crazy. Like you need to be worried about animating yourself, going to Planet Fitness, and not sitting here trying to be somebody you're not. Like, listen, enjoy anime all you want. That shit's amazing. It's he said, uh, I'm bound for leaking that. My he liked and retweeted this shit and replied to it. He replied to it, my man. Come on, bro. He got the same username on every platform. He doesn't know who, he, who this shit is. Man, f that. Man, he laughing because he know he that's what he into. And it is man, I gotta fire this nigga. Quality. Well, when like you absolutely no life anime, sit in your room, bed rot all day, and just watch this shit over and over again. Something's wrong with you. Cause you gotta get a grip on reality, bro. You're not gonna be able to animate yourself with that six pack if you don't get out your damn bed and stop eating Doritos. You gotta get up out your bed and go do that shit, man. Cause ain't no animator gonna be able to fix your player build. I, it's just it's just as fast, bro. I, I can't lie. Like the amount of sexualization that goes in the anime nowadays is just Thank you for that so sub. Weird. Like the amount of sexualized anime drawings I see if I open Twitter Two is crazy. Like you know how many like people actually spend their time drawing like these anime characters with all type of tits and booty and all type of like bros. Be honest, y'all ever watch hentai? Don't lie, bro. I there's no point to lie. It's been a long day, bro. Have y'all ever watched it? Be honest. Like willingly looked it up. I'm talking about went out of your way to watch it. Went out of your way. Went out of your way. Hey Max Cyber. I never have, bro. And that's the honest truth, bro. I'd rather watch. Uh, nah. Nah, too far pause. I gotta pause because the thought, the fact that thought even came in my head. But, yeah, bro. Yeah, wow. Nigga said every day. Stop. Let it be innocent. Stop, like, bringing sex into every single fandom or every single fan base. It's just weird. Like, separate the art and just being weird. Like, like just enjoy the art and don't bring your weird-ass fantasies into it. Please, bro. Because if I see some more art of some random-ass anime girl with her titties massive all over the screen, I'm gonna literally jump out of my window. Bro. Now, the last fan base I'm gonna talk about is a little bit of an Easter egg. Like, it's not even like it's one of those crazy fan bases that are, like, all over your timeline. But it's Drake fans. And while I mentioned... Be careful with your f***ing words right here, my... And Drake fans because Drake has recently gone on a tour around America and like the amount of weird ass TikToks I've seen from Drake fans is just absolutely out of this world. Now I get Drake this. That motherfucker got Riz out of this world. And he handsome, bro. Like, gang, he just that... Gang, you, he got aura, bro. He's just that... Bro. It's like his in just being honest, bro. I'm just being honest. It's not even on. I'm not a fanboy, bro. I'm just telling you the truth, bro. Entire fan base is pretty much women. Well, the ones that show up to his shows are not. I ain't say he was perfect, like you feel me. I mean, he still got a, a star bitch pregnant. You feel me? But like, come on, bro. He's a nine times out of ten, mostly women that are like fighting to get these tickets. And well, the amount of weird ass TikToks I've seen, like I threw Drake not cute, but come on, time her out or him. You fucking dumbass. Are you are you blind? Like, I have not. Time him out, bro. I'm not gonna ban you, but bro, snipe his ass, man. Drake my bra on stage, and I threw Drake my panties. I hope he smells them. It's absolutely weird. So that's sexual harassment, too. Damn, so if I say I wanna suck your dick, that's sexual har Damn, anything sexual harassment. But I tell my nigga, like, nigga say, all right, pause. But nigga be like, all the time, like, damn, I'm gonna suck that dick. I guess that's sexual harassment. Y'all point question marks, but bro, you know how they joke around with their friends? It, I think it just, bro, it depends on the instance and the situation, bro. That's all you can say, bro. It depends, bro. The obsession and sexualization of Drake is just got out of this world, bro. I see so many girls like screaming at the Yo, top. joke is being gay? Bro, you, you, bro, how do y'all joke with y'all friends? Nick, okay, yes, joke. But to be on some shit like, no, my friend's gay as fuck. Like, my man's be sending twerk videos at 4 a.m. He don't do that no more, but, bro, niggas be on some weird shit. It's only him, though. He's the gayest one. He was in the vlog, bro. He was twerking in my recent vlog, the Cali one, bro. He's gay. Like, we be really thinking he gay low-key. That don't got nothing to do with me. That don't got nothing to do with me. Like, bro, he's so damn gay. It's like, it's like, bro, around him. I don't be, I don't make, I don't say nothing, even the slightest, because he gonna take it and run with it. I never joke with my friends like that. You're a woman, so it's different, because y'all actually gay. Girls are actually gay. Like y'all fuck around and kiss y'all, kiss each other. We ain't never kiss each other. Like I ain't never kiss my man. Bro, just talking. It's late. It's three a.m. 
This is the real thoughts. Gay jokes are fine unless it goes too far. I'm trying to think the farthest that they went. So, okay, there was a gay nigga walking towards us, two of them. And my mans basically was like, yo, you look mad good. And then we all just started laughing. But it's like, bro, yesterday we was in the Uber. We was in the Uber. And he's like, I need some dick. He was sitting passenger. Like, he'll do shit like that. He just readily be like, I need dick. You feel me? Oh, y'all yeah, don't feel me. <laughs> okay, look. I don't do it. I'm just saying that's him. My man's kissed me on the neck. Yo, if y'all have friends like that, I advise y'all to stay away from him. But it's too late. I'm too. I'm already friends with bro. What else he done? He twerks like he really. He really know how to twerk though. That's what's weird. He practices. Let's get to the vid, bro. Their lungs, Drake, 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 sign my bra. Like, come, f come find me, please. Come give me a chance. Drake does not give a shit about you. Do you know how many TikToks I've seen of this dude just straight up walking past every single fan that has said Drake or left their hand out for him to shake? Back up, back up. Hey, Drizzy, please. Side, back up. Back up. See, I'm not calling it Drizzy, but. Drizzy, please, I'm the only one calling. Yo, imagine being so famous you can't even stop and take photos because you know he would, but then it's like, niggas got places to go. You feel me? He'd be outside for 30 minutes. He does not give two sh He only cares when he's asking you to throw that bra on stage. No, he cares, bro. He cares, bro. That double quadruple rage pissed bra off okay? on stage for him to add to his collection. Which is weird like, as shit, by the you way. Want me to go babysit the Asking them random up, women to feed throw some bras on Why is he though? keeping that shit? Like, that's mad weird. But bro, man, I, I don't know, bro. Drake fans have just, like, they've skyrocketed through the window, man. They, they're, they're just weird as shit. Like, there was this one clip of this girl, like, literally bursting out the crowd to hug 21 Savage. Like, she was damn near hyperventilating when he actually hugged her back and smiled. <laughs> like, she... Bro, that's what, a, that's what Fame will do, though, bro. Like, this not, bro, this will never, I don't think this will ever change. In fact, it's probably just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse, bro. Because it's get more and more involved with the internet. Because think about it, bro. When we parents, everyone knows uh, the internet. Most, some of our parents and grandparents don't even know who some of these famous people coming up now is. Like, bro. It's just gonna get worse, man. Jesus Christ, bro. Like, these celebrities aren't Jesus, bro. Like, I get it. They're cool. They're famous. They make cool music. But we gotta stop idolizing these random people it's never like gonna they're change. Jesus Christ. The only person that's gonna save you is this man. People don't want to change. Idolize him and stop idolizing Drake and throwing him your panties and bras, ladies, please. But really, that's all I got. See, but that's that's him, though. Like, you feel me? Some people don't want to be religious. But, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't think people don't want to change, bro. But this was a good vid, though. This was cool. Hi, bro. When you blow up a lot, can you sell the sock in your door? I'ma buy it, then I'ma pass it down my family generation. You wanna buy the sock in my door? What I'm gonna What I'm gonna cover my door with? 